What if you could participate in any winter sport? What would you choose? What is the most interesting winter sport to do in the Olympics? Let's find out. Let's find out what I think, at least, and you let me know what you think after. So, first off, uh, these are all of the Olympic sports in the Winter Olympics, and we are going to rank them by how interesting I find them personally and how much I would like to do them. Starting off with alpine spe skiing, I have done skiing before. I liked skiing. I almost killed our premier while I was skiing, so that's fun. I would say that alpine skiing is a solid B. I'm not saying B for been there, done that, but it is a B. It's not something that I'm just like, oh, I would like to do this all the time. I totally understand there are people out there who love skiing, and I think that's cool. I have done skiing. I have enjoyed skiing. I am not crazy about alpine skiing. But maybe now that I'm a little older and a little better, maybe now it would be different. We will find out. One day we will find out. Um, well, it's only fair that from there I go cross-country skiing. I do prefer cross-country skiing. I've always liked cross-country skiing. I remember I used to go uh, back in the day when I was in North Bay. We would have like this uh, ski trail that you could go out and you could go and do cross-country skiing there. And I loved going there. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I had my own pair of skis and I would wax them up and go like every weekend, every other weekend or so. And then I stopped because, you know, it is, it's, it does, it is expensive. It is a thing. But cross country skiing itself, a lot of fun. So I think that we can definitely have some fun with that in the future. I, biathlon, cross country skiing, and then you shoot something. You know, I'm not made of stone. As much as I hate guns, there is something kind of fun about the idea of just like, oh, first you're going to ski for a while, and then you're going to shoot something. Okay. Like, that's, you got me, you, I'm interested. So, we'll keep that, we'll keep that in mind. And going forward, like, what are we going to do? What are we going to make happen? So, I'm curious to know what other people think about this. Uh, I'm pretty sure most people are probably way more interested in skiing downhill. And granted... Uh, I think it is the more interesting thing to do. Absolutely. I am not saying that alpine skiing is the most interesting piece. I'm just saying that this is my preferences for what I would like to try in the future. So, I think the one thing that everyone can agree that they would like to do, bobsledding. You know what? I'm being too nice to biathlon. I'll put it in the throat. Everyone loves the idea of bobsledding. Everybody wants to be a bobsledder. It's just a fact. After cool runnings, or like we were, we've we've all been, we've all been there. We've all wanted this to be a thing. Everyone looks at a bobsled and they're just like, "This looks amazing. This looks like so much fun. How do I do this?" And the answer is, no one knows. You're, I, I think you're just born a bobsledder, because honestly, that's that's all there is. No one knows how else this sport has been created. <laughs> Bobsledding just looks like so much fun. It really does. The image of everyone crammed together in a tin can and just shooting down whatever it is they're shooting down. It's fun. It's funny. It's silly. It's cute. It's Everybody wants to do this. Everybody. All the time. It's what we want. And I think that it's only fair that we get to do it more, more often. So what would come after that? What would we do after bobsledding? Well, curling is something that is much more available in Canada. It's also probably more of a presence here than most other places. And curling, yeah, I don't, I've never been super interested in curling, but I am more interested in curling than I am in skiing. Curling seems like it could be fun. Curling seems like it could be a lot of fun. So maybe that would be something to try in the future. I don't know. Uh, would I be a good curler? Probably not. I am terrible at most games that involve accuracy. And, you know, overall, I would say that that's... Curling is, is fine. It's just... It is what it is. I have... I, I'm justifying my reasoning to not like curling. But it's curling. I don't think I need to justify that. Figure skating! Uh, figure skating's beautiful. I think that it's uh, a wonderful sport. I think that it's one of the few that involves dance. I'd like to try it one day, but I'm a terrible skater. I'm a terrible skater. I'm a terrible skier. I don't like being cold. The Winter Olympics are not for me. 
I'm just gonna flat out say this. But, at the same time, there's a lot here that is fun. So I will... Like, I would love to go figure skating one day, but I'd have to remember how to skate first, and that would take a while. So, with me saying that and being open and honest in that front, I feel like that's a good part. Next up, we have freestyle skiing, which I think would be not... Well, if this is probably the same as, as alpine skiing for me. It's going to kind of land in the same place. And you know what? You know, cross-country skiing, I am being too nice. I am being way too nice. So let's let's knock that down. Freestyle skiing, sure. Like jumpy jumpy trick trick. It's like, yeah, that's that could be fun. That could be cool. That could be interesting. So not a post that being there. Ice hockey. Oh, this is gonna be contentious. No interest. No interest at all. It's the Canadian national sport. I don't like watching hockey. I think it's boring. I don't like playing hockey. I think it's boring. I can't see any reason why I would be interested in hockey at all. So, flat out, ice hockey, not for me. But I'm also, like, very much an anomaly because Canada loves hockey. We love that hockey. And I get that. And I totally respect that. But I'm just like, I don't care. Just don't care. Never have. Never will. It's hockey. It is what it is. But that's, that's all that, that is. Uh, luge. Strap yourself to a board and shoot down, uh, shoot down the hole in, like, go down this giant icy track at breakneck speeds. Yeah. Sounds fun. I would do that. I 100% do that. I would say luge is interesting because it's not as interesting as the bobsled because I feel like the bobsled has, like, that iconic factor of you're in this giant, you're in, like, a giant phallic object shooting down a hill. Like, that's, that's interesting. Luge, it's just like, oh, now you are yourself, and you are just, you are just going down the hill feet first. And it's like, well, not the most, uh, is what is, is what is. Nordic combined, ski jumping and ski, that sounds tedious, honestly. Yeah, I can't see that being one that I'm just like, let's go and do this. This sounds interesting. Uh, short track speed skating and speed skating. Do I have any interest in speed skating? Like, going fast is fun. I don't think anyone's arguing that. Um, is it enough fun? Is the question. C'est la question. Uh, je ne sais pas. I don't know. Is it, is it more interesting because the skates are different? Maybe. I gotta be honest, though. I feel like speed skating and short track speed skating are less interesting than ice hockey. I just can't see how either of those would be would be fun. It's just doing more skating, which is already something I've established I'm not a fan of. Anyways, ski jumping. Ski jumping looks badass, man. That would be so much fun. Uh, I'll put it behind figure skating. I think it can easily go higher and I'm not opposed to that. But ski jumping itself uh, would be fun, would be loud, would be rambunctious. Uh, you get to fly with skis on your legs and go through whatever it is you want to go through. Just fly, just fly. Fly with the skis. Sounds cool. Let's do. Uh, skeleton. Let's do the luge, but backwards and face first. Sign me up. Is that better than bobsledding? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm not normally like an adrenaline junkie, but that I'm just like, yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. Let's do that. So <laughs> I'll take it. I would, I would happily get the chance to go and do skeleton if I ever got the chance to do any Olympic sport. So finally we have snowboarding. Snowboarding is something I've never done, but I would like to, but if I had a choice between all of these, I would say that snowboarding would be like one of my lesser choices. So this is how I would rank the winter sports in terms of how I, how much I would like to participate in them. So not necessarily a standard ranking, but it's my ranking and y'all get to listen to it. So that's my opinion. Let me know what you think and what sport would you like to do given the opportunity or what sport should be in the winter Olympics that isn't already. That I don't know. Ringette maybe? Is that still a thing? Do people still play that? I don't know. Tell me, tell me if I'm true, Northern Ontario.